What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mike's Gourmet Kitchen. In today's episode, we are going to be preparing some delicious bean soup. Also known in Afrikaans as Boinki soup. soup. Yes, that's it. So, um, I have my grandmother with me today. We are going to, she's going to be teaching us how to make this delicious family recipe with a few simple ingredients. It's a very cheap recipe to prepare to feed a big family. Not just because of the price, but the absolutely amazing taste. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. Let's get cooking. First up, we will start with our pressure cooker. You can be using a normal pot for this as well. If you do use a normal pot, you should be cooking the beans for around about one and a half hours to two hours. Beans do contain lectins, which are very harmful if you do not um, consume cooked properly beans or undercooked beans. It's not great. You might have some kidney and some renal issues and uh, some liver problems and stuff like that. So if you are going to be using a pressure cooker, we are going to be throwing it in for about 13 minutes. Um, Omar, what is the first thing that we are going to be adding to this pot? Boinkies. Boinkies. Okay, so our beans, we are using about 500 grams of some red spec beans. Next up, we have our meat. This is your meat of choice. Soup. You could... Okay, what, what meat are we using? Soup meat. Soup meat. Okay, so you want meat with bones and some nice fatty flavor. You want this soup to be nice and creamy. So we are adding some pork fat as well. And then what are we adding next? 15 milliliters salt. So about 15 grams of salt. The beans do tend to absorb quite a bit of salt. And then um, what else? Black pepper. Okay, some coarse black pepper. We're gonna do about one teaspoon of coarse black pepper. You could use normal black pepper, pepper if you'd like. It doesn't really make a big difference. The, the coarse pepper just has a bit more aromatic flavor to it. How much water will we be using for two. today's? Okay, so we're adding about two liters of water to the mixture. We'll give it a nice mix through. And then we will set the pressure to cook for about 30 minutes. And there we go. It should start and we'll leave it for about 30 minutes. Okay, perfect. So it's been in the pressure cooker for about 30 minutes now. We'll move on to letting the steam out and then we will add some grated up potato and onions. Perfect, it's been in the pot for about 30 minutes now. Let's open it up and have a look inside. Oh, look at that. Beautiful beans, some pork fat and some nice beef. And it smells absolutely amazing. My grandmother's doing an excellent job here. From here on out, let's move on to preparing our potatoes and our onions. Okay, we'll add about three more liters of water to this mix. There we go. We'll give it a mix. It looks a bit watery now, but it's going to thicken up the moment we add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, next up we'll be adding our grated onions and potatoes. Ah. 
And now we're adding one cup of Stellini pasta. You can add your own pasta, you can add rice or anything like that to thicken it up. We just prefer this. It does give quite a bit of a starchy thickness to the whole soup mixture. We're also adding about four tablespoons of butter. How long are we, are we gonna cook this for, Uma? About three minutes. Okay, we'll cook this for about 20 minutes and reduce down the volume before we add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, now at the moment we're gonna be mixing the cream with the minestrone packet of soup. And then from there we'll give it a nice mix through and add it to our pot, which is all the way down here. You will see in the, in the video, it has thickened up quite nicely. It's a nice, thick, brothy, creamy mix of beans, fat and uh, some nice delicious stewing meat. Just ensure that the cream is nicely mixed into the, the minestrone. This will give that finishing touch to the mixture. It will give it a nice creamy taste and some delicious flavor and also some saltiness. That's beautiful. My grandmother's just finishing up mixing everything together. We'll see you guys in about 20 minutes. This is now all mixed together. We'll leave it to slow cook for about, yeah. <laughs> okay, my grandmother's done mixing everything together. We're gonna leave this on slow cook for about 20 minutes till everything is nicely combined together. And then we'll go ahead and give it a taste. And here we are, we bought some beautiful bread from the bakery all local some nice fresh white bread and we're gonna have this with some delicious bean soup put some nice thick butter and then we'll give it a taste and that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching let's go ahead and give it a taste Nothing wrong with that. Nice. Beautiful. Cheers. Beautiful. Mm? Beautiful. That's delicious. Wow. And that's why I'm around. <laughs> the soup's creamy, it's tasty, it's decadent, it's nice and fulfilling, it's very hearty to share with family and friends. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Right Cheers. and lekker. I hope I like your ass. Kijk hem hier, die kan drie minuten zien. Oh, dat is dan zo. Kijk. Thanks, Emma. Je mag het echt zien. Die mensen is plat op je hart, als Afrikaanse mensen die weer eens kijken.